Hi everyone and welcome to this new video about control systems and we will continue with the topic of phase margin and the gain margin. In this example we will consider a closed loop system. In the previous example we had an open loop system but this time we have a closed loop system. The following plant is given and which is placed in a closed loop system as you can show here which is a negative feedback and we have a gain which is actually a proportional controller in this Form. Now we have the following questions to calculate the value of k such that the closed loop system has a phase margin of at least 60 degrees. That's one. The next one is to calculate the gain margin for calculate the value of k in question a. Okay. For the gain margin and for the phase margin cal calculations, what you need to know is the loop transfer function or the loop gain which is actually the following. So if you look at this uh, configuration, it's a diagram, you will see actually the gain K and then the G of S and then the unity gain feedback. So what you actually have is in a loop gain is the K times the G. So let me first write down the loop gain, which is necessary for our calculation. So the loop gain, so the loop gain, and I will denote it as L, which is the product of the gain K times the given open loop transfer function. Now, if I now write it down in simplified form, which is 100 K divided by S plus 2 times S plus 3 times S plus 4. All right, now what we do, of course, uh, since we are working with the sinusoidal system analysis, we can set that set the log loss parameter as equal to j omega. This will result, so this will result that the L, the loop gain, is now given in the j omega domain, which is now 100k, and everything where I see an S, I will just replace it by j omega. So I will have the j omega plus 2 times j omega plus 3 and then j omega plus 4. Okay. What I first do is I would like to know what the gain expression is for this and also the phase which is really uh, necessary for our further calculation. So I will do that here at the right side, so what I have is I will have the gain of this loop transfer function and also the phase. Let me write down that first. Okay. For the gain, I will look, of course, at the absolute value of this. So the absolute value of my loop transfer function is the 100k divided by the length of this expression, which is just the square root of the omega squared plus 2 squared. In similar form, I have the square root of the omega squared plus 3 squared, and also the square root of the omega squared plus 4 squared, which is actually a very familiar analysis that we have also discussed with the phasers and complex numbers. So what we have is the following, if I write it down, I have the omega squared plus 3 squared and also the final one omega squared plus 4 squared. Okay, this is just the expression for the gain. Now if I now move to phase, let me make this clear that this is now phase, a little bit to the right side. So the phase expression, which is just phi of omega, which is now the phase contribution of this part minus the phase contribution of the of this part. So which is actually in this case the contribution of the 100k is just zero degrees, which is just pure real term. We have had now of course a combination of the imaginary and real parts and also imaginary and real parts and also the imaginary and real parts that will of course result in arctangent formulas which is also discussed in the previous 
example. So what we have is, of course, a minus sign because it is in the in the denominator. So what we have is then minus arc tangent omega divided by two minus arc tangent omega divided by three. And let me make some room for the final one and minus arc tangent omega divided by four. This is actually our expression for our phase. Okay, now I have now the gain and I have now the phase, which is very important. First do that, then you can of course continue in the next analysis. Now the following is the question A, which is actually the phase margin. So let me look at that in the following four. Let me make this question A. If I need a phase margin, so let me write it down. If I need a phase margin, which is at least, means actually larger or equal to 60 degrees, this means actually the following. I need a phase of my phase expression, which is one minus 180 degrees plus the required phase margin. If I now just use 60 degrees, I will of course have that the phase expression must equal to 120 degrees. So it is minus 180 plus 60 it will of course be minus 180 degrees. If I now equate this here, this expression to this expression and solve, then I will get a omega, which results in minus 180 degrees. Okay, that's actually the first step. So let me write it down. Minus arc tangent and then omega divided by two and then minus arc tangent omega divided by three and then minus our tangent omega divided by four, which is minus 120 degrees. Okay. You can of course solve this using a solver or just a calculator, and then you get the result for your omega. So I will just denote this as the blue line, the, the left side, and I will make this the red curve. So if I, now, if I now make a sketch, which is really handy. So if I now have a sketch here, which is the horizontal line, just the omega in radians per second. And this is just the phase, what we need. So if I now uh, draw the blue line, which is in a sketch form, a graph like this, and what you have for the minus 180 degrees, well, minus 120 degrees, I mean, is just a horizontal line. So what you have, if I do it in green, you will have a intersection here. And we call this the omega PM, which is actually the phase margin uh, frequency. So if you now solve this, just solve, Solving, we get omega is equal to 2.4, 2.4 radians per second. Of course, you can solve this with a solver. So this is now defined as omega pm. And I will need this in the further analysis. Okay. Again, this is, let me write down here, this is minus 120 degrees. Now I need, of course, the value of K, which is now the next step. I have now calculated the value where I have the phase of minus 120 degrees, which will of course result in 60 degrees of phase margin. I will now use this value in the magnitude expression. So I will now use this value here and I will equate that equation to one. So that's actually the next step. We have also discussed this in great detail in 
the previous example about the gain margin and the phase margin. So my next step, let me write down. So the next step is actually the following. I will say, what is the magnitude or I equate the magnitude of the loop gain equal to one at that frequency. Now, if you look at the expression for the magnitude, which is this, I have actually this and this and this now known because this is just 2.4. And the only unknown is the K, and which is actually the question in place for question A. So if I now do the math here, I will just write down 100 K divided by the square root of 2.4 squared plus 2 squared and then 2.4 squared plus 3 squared and finally 2.4 squared plus 4 squared and that equate to 1. Again you can solve this which is not really that difficult. What you get is k is equal to 0 0.56 approximately again of course you can make a sketch of this one and use your solve and find the intersection point okay now we have our value of k which is now actually done and which is actually the question for question a now if i now want to know the game margin let's move the question b Game margin. Now the expression for our loop gain, having of course calculated the value of k now, is 100 times 0 0.56, which is now the k, divided by j omega plus 2 times j omega plus 3 times j omega plus 4 which is now the in a simplified form 56 divided by exactly the same expression okay uh, now what do we do next we have now of course the gain margin situation so we have to use the definition for gain margin so the gain margin is actually the following what is the uh, the gain which you can add before you reach actually your minus 180 degrees for your phase shift. So what I need to know and what I need to check first is what is the gain or what is the phase which result in minus 180 degrees for this expression of course which is of course what we have now. If I now solve this and again, you can look at this expression, which is the phase contribution of this part, which is just real as zero, and then phase contribution of that part, and a phase contribution of that part, and phase contribution of that part. And it will move on. And I see I have uh, just forgot the J omega term there, so I will make that clear. So it is just three, and then J omega plus four. Okay, so what you get is then, minus r tangent omega divided by 2 minus r tangent omega divided by 3 and then minus r tangent omega divided by 4 which is minus 180 degrees if you now do the math here again using a circle for it is not that difficult using the intersection point, you will have very close to 5.1 radians per second. And this is now again defined as the gain margin frequency. Okay, I will underscore this. Then next one is I will not need to know I'm interested in the gain at this frequency. Okay, that means what is the gain of my loop gain at this frequency and what you now need to know is of course substitute this 
express this value of omega in the absolute value of this expression, new expression. So if I now move on, I will say it's just 56 divided by the square root or of 5.1 squared plus 2 squared and then 5.1 squared plus 3 squared and then the 5.1 divided by 5.1 plus 4 squared. Now what you get here is very close to 0 0.2 six seven and of course we can now convert this to the db so what i do is first is i will convert this to dbs that is the next step which is in dbs is 20 times the log base 10 of course of that result we have here so that will result in minus 11.5 db what does that mean actually that means actually the following at this frequency this loop transfer function has a gain of minus 11.5 db now if i reach 0 db at this frequency which of course has a phase of minus 180 degrees I will have actually the boundary for instability. So before I reach or before I move in the insta instable region or instable uh, part of the graph, I will of course have 11.5 dB gain. So I can add 11.5 dB before I reach the instable point the boundary point so that means actually following the gain margin so i will now say the dos the gain margin which is of course the definition of the margin what you have is a minus of this number so what you have is the l gm and which result in 11.5 db So you have 11.5 dB of k margin and you will need this value to get the phase margin of 60 degrees. And that's actually for this example about this game margin and phase margin in a close loop configuration.